Hello friends, welcome to this lecture. Now in the earlier lecture we have seen how to uh, sign up for the Shopify 14 day free trial and I've given you an example of how, where to find your products, how to, what are the best ways to find good quality products with less amount of shipping times and a prolo which is the game changer for everyone, currently not everyone is using but we should really use that and I've tested it, they give you quality products uh, and uh, that too in a low shipping time so it will help you win because if you provide less uh, if you provide products at uh, lower shipping time then you will find good amount good conversion rates now in this lecture we are going to import some products uh, related to our niche that is pet store niche uh, to our store so that after that once the products are imported we can design our store based on that now uh, we have a different section on how to find winning products in dropshipping but just for the sake of the de designing our store uh, I am going to use the simplest ways of finding the winning product for our store and I will import those products into our store. I will product I will import two products from Oberlo use AliExpress using Oberlo and two products from Eprolo so that I can give you a demo of how products are imported from both the methods. I will show you the basic, the simplest method of finding uh, winning products for us and how to validate whether uh, they can be winning product for us or not, whether they are marketable, whether they can be sold or, sold or not. So let's go to our products. Now how to find winning products? The simplest and the easiest method for me is go to AliExpress. Go to aliexpress.com. Here in the side, you will find categories. In that categories, go select whichever niche you are going for. I am going for pet niche, so I will select the pet niche. Once we have selected, they will give you all new products that are coming currently in that niche. But what you have to do is filter it using orders. Always go with orders and filter it. Now, when you filter it with orders uh, all the products that uh, that are uh, chronologically from uh, higher sold to lower will appear in line so for example the highest selling products will be first and then in a decreasing descending orders of the uh, sales you will see them so for example here it has been sold 32,000 units have been sold 12,000 units have been sold 12,000, 10,000. So you can see it is decreasing orders trend where it is showing you the products. So it is a easiest way to find winning products because we know that these products are currently selling 32,000 orders, 12,000 orders, 12,000 orders. Now a rule of thumb first is to find out products that are currently selling. Never go products which are lower than 1000 orders if there if the product sale is less than 1000 never use that product because uh, the seller would be new and he might not be uh, reliable if you have big orders for example if you have 100 orders per day you don't know whether he will his logistics will be reliable or not so don't go beyond less than 1000 orders minimum 1000 orders should be there and second rule of thumb should be rating should always be more than 4.7 i don't prefer less than 4.7 people go beyond 4.5 also but i would say if you have uh, orders more than 1000 and if the seller's rating is 4.7 or more then these products are best it will be good quality products and you will never have good any complaint related to that so the rule of thumb more than 5000 orders you should have uh, good rating and also check rating ratings should not be the customer reviews and ratings should be approximately more than 100 so for example here there are 9000 reviews out of 32000 orders there are 9000 reviews so we can say 9000 people are reviewing 4.9 stars so this is a great product it is sellable and you can achieve have good margins and you can uh, and you can easily market this products now one of the more one thing also you should validate before going ahead one more thing it will help you know see the 32,000 orders what they are showing is up till today how many orders have been sold but 
to understand whether currently they are selling this product or not there is also one thing which will help you validate that is a draw product analysis tool provided by aliexpress it is free it comes under a dropship center where it provides you product analysis tool on their website only so to get, to access that all you have to do is go to account and join sign up for aliexpress using no it's normal like how you sign up for gmail and yahoo mail all you have to do is just join and then i'll just sign in and i'll show you how to do product analysis using uh, the dropship center and the product analysis tool provided by aliexpress itself so i'll just sign in into it and i'll show you so now we are logged in into my account of aliexpress so once you are logged in go to my orders and here you will find dropship center now now everybody who sign in into aliexpress will never find this directly you need a link of dropship center to uh, find it into your uh login so i will share the link to dropship center into you in the resource section of this lecture so that you can click on it sign in with aliexpress and you can have it on your uh, on your login also so go to dropship center go to product analysis and now whichever product you have selected for example we have selected this product dollar uh, dog collar puppy engraved so we have selected this product so all you do is copy it copy the link of the product on aliexpress go to this product analysis and paste it and then click on search now here it will show you current trends of the product so now you can see currently that the product is at a downward trend currently it is having daily 100 volumes or 100 sales per day so you can see it is currently a dying product however 100 sales is still good it can be still marketed but you can see it is never gone gone below 80 orders it went to 80 orders it started with 458 orders it went to 80 87 orders then it had a jump till 746 orders 100 111 90 80 so it is a winning product i can say because it is never gone beyond, below 80 per day it is never gone below so it has gone max to max 75 but it 58 so the lowest is 58 but still it keeps on pick up so we can say that this product is not going to die out uh, now daily 50 order 50 volume of an order is great i would say if you get daily 10 orders or 20 orders it can be a winning product winning product because 10 orders is still good for example if you are selling a product for 20 a uh, dollar or 30 dollars then you can easily get a uh, 200 dollars to 500 dollars per day from this product itself so this is a winning product we can say even though it's a decreasing trend but i would say at a level of 50 to 90 it will again go back up so this is a very great tool you can analyze products and i would say if a product has daily 40 to 50 orders or 60 orders it is a winning product actually if more than 10 orders daily it is processing then it is a winning product you can select it and you can use it so this is a great tool dropshipping center and i will uh, add a link in the resource section so you can also get this uh, tool and you can analyze your own product now currently for the sake of our course for the convenience i am going to select all these products that i have seen uh, i am not going to analyze every each and every product because you have because i have shown how to analyze this product now i am going to select first two product from oberlo and next two product from aprolo i am going to go to aprolo and i am selecting that now one more thing also to keep in mind is all these products that you import should have e packet you can see here these all products have e packet the products which don't have e packet they will mention you it doesn't have e packet don't import those product even though you can see they have sales but better to go stick with e packet countries only because it will be good for your shipping so we are going to import these two product from oberlo and uh, remaining and two products these and this product from aprolo so let's import them so to import these product using Ebro oberlo 
here we have the extension all you have to do is just click on the extension but however select uh, please review whatever this amount of sold the amount of reviews they have been given please sell see all the reviews they are good reviews then and then only as you have said so let's click and import so it is not available via oberlo so we won't select this now we will select this so this product has been imported we will import this product also this product has been imported using oberlo so now let's go to oberlo first we'll go to uh, import all the products from oberlo and then we'll go and import products from april so now we are inside the oberlo here we'll go to our import list now we have imported two products now you can see oberlo has imported everything the product its uh, images its title from the supplier and it has also linked itself with the supplier so whenever you receive an order from the customer with a one click oberlo will place the order with the supplier all you have to do is just make the payment now here it has imported the description from the supplier but i would suggest if you want to succeed in this business never use this uh, description as provided by the supplier itself it's just a description of uh, the specification and it's never it will never get you any sales if you are an amazon seller then you might get a sale but if you want to succeed in drop shipping write a good product description like uh, you are selling like like right like a script you are writing and it should be impulsive it should be emotional like they should your customer whenever comes to this product should be compelled to buy this product that kind of writing you should be done write your own product descriptions in that so delete it variants now as a rule of thumb i only use four variants i don't go more than four variants because if you give more and more variants for your product it will make your customer confused because they will get overwhelmed by too many choices and then they might not even select they might uh, think that they will buy afterwards because there is too many choices so don't give too many choices four variants are okay i would say in fact select only one variant they have an option of one variant but still if you want to give some options give only four variants options and that is the only thing so we will select there are 16 variants but we will select only four variants of it so this is black so we'll select the black one camouflage leopard in red so we have selected four of our uh, okay there are four variants only only the small medium xl is the only problem now here check your shipping and always go with uh, united states now different countries will have different shipping rates we are majorly going to focus on five e packet countries and always select e packets never go for any other shipping always go for e packet as i have already said because it's the most reliable shipping way you should use except for aprolo aprolo has different share depending on the different countries it uses different shipping uh, companies but they use a reliable shipping companies but when it comes to aliexpress always go with e packet you don't want chinese uh, shipping companies and all now here you can change prices and with one click you can change or prices for all the products itself so change all the prices go set new value now as a rule of thumb i would always say uh, to price your product price your product at least 3x or 4x of your cost total cost including shipping cost or if you go for a fixed costing then go at least 20 to 25 dollar profit margin so if your cost is 6.27 dollars and if shipping is 1 dollar currently zero so for example we have 26 6.27 dollars then go either 3x or 4x of your uh, cost 
or add 20 or 25 dollar markup on your uh, total cost believe me uh, when it comes to facebook ads and other ads method it is the necessary thing it is the most profitable way so let's find out our calculation so we have 6.27 into 3x it would be 18.81 so we can go for 19.99 dollars so let's go for set new value 19.99 dollars apply now all the products prices will be changed so some are lower some are higher but we'll charge 19.99 dollars here compare prices now uh, let's change our comparing prices always do 2x comparing prices so if it is 19.99 dollars we can go for 39.99 dollars for all so we have set all the prices images so you can select which images you would like i would i am importing all these images plus this image which shows uh, the specification so you can add this uh, image in your product description for the different specification of your products and we will import it to store now with one click it has been imported with all its variants and prices to our store now this second uh, product it's a pet dog toy it's a dog toy for your dog so now uh, we can change the title of it rubber ball toy for dogs description again we will delete it and we will add our own description later variants as i said select only four variants so blue green and orange you don't want okay green you don't want these all products so we have four variants blue cyan green orange only four products now import to store so we have imported two products from oberlo and it has been imported into our store as we go from here to products so we can see these two products have been imported now if we view it currently the debut theme the free theme is installed in our store so it will show how it would look so this is how it will look on your store here we will add our product description so that you can the customers can change now uh, i haven't changed this but you can change like from black uh, check the spelling like b is capital and the sentence ways and here you can see 39.99 is the comparing price and the 19.99 dollar is our price we will write the product description and here you can see different products now ahead once we set up our store i will show you a way a method to change uh, so for example if you select an image the product will itself change currently it is not changing based on the products you select so but afterwards you can change it so we will edit this product afterwards but just to show you how it looks i just went out to it and uh, selected it now we will import products from uh, aprolo so go to apps go to aprolo now aprolo never doesn't shows you the amount of orders or sales but believe me they all are buying products from uh, manufacturers from quality manufacturers and quality uh, suppliers so you don't have to worry i have impo i have supplied ordered many products from them and uh, they have delivered them to my customers and i have not received any chargebacks means one or two chargebacks but still that is uh, an industrial rate of 1% but still not more than that and uh, they provide a good shipping products so uh, ship shipping time so it is good their uh their products are good quality their shipping times is good better than aliexpress that i can say sure the only negative point is you might not receive all products on aprolo so now we will select two products from aliexpress and we'll search that product on uh, aprolo to find our two products so one is this seat belt 
now to find products on once you have selected the product on aliexpress that you want to import all you do is copy the that title and copy and paste the same here so here it is here is the product now you can see they have showed you the cost inventory they have the e packet united states e packet 7 to 20 or if you go with operolo express three dollars united kingdom five to eight days australia and guys they really if you pay 1.5 day for five dollars they will ship it within seven to nine days and believe me they do it they are very good at uh, shipping products directly in within this shipping times they have insane amount of shipping times so all you have to do here you can find out all uh, their descriptions so you can import their descriptions and their images all you have to do is just add to import list and success so this has been imported now it has been imported to import list not to our uh, store so the second product that we are going to select is uh, let's select this pillow cat toy fish it has 6000 reviews 8000 orders and 4 pointed review rating that is good so go to here lead it and search generally most of the product you will receive on, which are available on aliexpress you can find it but still if you don't then you have to use oberlo sorry oberlo with uh, aliexpress method so we go to here they are giving it for 5.9 again it's united states it's 3.3 dollars if you pay so they give you all this now it is a toy for cat to play so all you have to do is add to import list success so now here if you go to import list you'll find these products now you can change the title for the product fish toy or cat pricing you can change your price again here it's 5.99 dollar let's go for 19.99 and compared price would be 39.99 inventories are good and we have okay so we can add it so push to shopify you can see descriptions so they have a good description so it's good thing we can edit it afterwards they have good description images now here you can see what images we have so let's just just click push to shopify and it will be in, imported to your store now here adjustable dock car safety seat belt vehicle so we will change the title dog car safety belt for dogs again change the pricing it's 3.99 we'll go with 99.19.99 dollars and 39.99 dollars description you have to change it images okay push to shopify so this product has also been imported so if we go to products So all the four products so this is how you import products from oberlo and aprolo this is the simplest and easiest way to import now uh, before going ahead uh, when you select a product as i've said you should price them for 90 for at least 3x or 4x or at least go for 20 or go for 20 25 dollar profit margin if the product is such that you can't 
स्केल इट विथ ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव डॉलर प्रॉफिट मार्जिन और थ्री एक्स और फोर एक्स प्रॉफिट मार्जिन एंड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन डिफरेंट कंट्रीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन इंडिया देर आर डिफरेंट चार्जेस इफ यू आर इन यू एस यू कैन चार्ज लोअर प्राइजेस बट फॉर अदर कंट्रीज वेयर कन्वर्जन चार्जेस आर देयर फॉर अदर एक्सपेंसिस आर ऑल्सो देयर कन्वर्जन चार्जेस देन मेनी कंट्रीज चार्ज फॉर शॉपिफाई ओनर्स चार्ज जी एस टी ऑन देयर प्रोडक्ट्स फेसबुक एड्स दे हैव टू पे जी एस टी इफ यू आर अ यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स रेजिडेंट देन यू डोंट गेट जी सेल्स टैक्स और जी एस टी ऑन फेसबुक एड्स बट इन डिफरेंट अदर पार्ट ऑफ कंट्रीज दे चार्ज जी एस टी ऑन फेसबुक एड्स they have uh, sales tax on facebook ads they have conversion charges from us dollars to different australian dollars or australian dollars to their currency whatever these price currency changes are there so there are different other expenses that occur and apart from that facebook ads expenses are also there so to overcome that expenses we need at least 3x to 4x pricing of your products if you can't price your product at 3x or 4x or your customer or your competitors are selling at a price cheaper like $7 $9 $10 then don't choose that product even though that product is selling don't choose it because your competitor might have some way to reduce their costing they might have some private agent who might be providing them at a cheaper rate they might be in US or they might have fulfillment centers of them so that they can get a lower rate of Char shipping charges, or they might have a customer list, so they don't have to include a Facebook advertisement. They might be advertising locally to their own customers, so there might be many things. So if you want, if you are a beginner, if you don't have any other experience only for Facebook ads, you are going with Facebook ads, then go and price your uh, product at at least three x or four x of your cost, total cost, or a twenty twenty five dollar profit margin on your profit. product cost then and then only you can be profitable in this business or else you might not be profitable thank you